okay so with that compost we are going to add it with the uh, organic soil this is supposed to be a moisture retaining garden soil okay and I believe I mentioned that Lowe's had it on sale so we bought a really good amount of I think we have at 12 12 bags because we needed some of it for my hoop house and now what's left I am using it to a big pot here which I'm going to plant the ginger and my husband already put our compost in there in here and as you can see all that eggshells in there they're very very brittle they have been breaking down for over a year in a compost bin and we are going to mix that and those two are the mixture that's inside this pot here this pot I am going to use to plant my turmeric in and another product which I'd like to incorporate with this is this garden tone which is an organic fertilizer and it looks like a very good product so I'm gonna try it on my turmeric and I'm gonna use that as well when I plant my ginger so so I have four pieces of uh, turmeric so let's create like a quadrant here we're gonna have four sections in this pot and we're gonna place each turmeric in each quadrant excuse me okay now doing things by one hand again <laughs> toss that there okay so I have four pieces of turmeric now as you can see this one here is starting to sprout right there and each knob or nodule that you see there are potential turmeric plant so what we're going to do is place it in that position we're gonna just put it horizontally and naturally we put a little depression in there <laughs> to dig that in that's one of the quadrant we're gonna put our turmeric in there and another one second quadrant we put another turmeric here I'm sorry it's just not easy to do things with one hand there it goes again as you can see in the very tip there's a growth coming out and we're also going to position that in a horizontal position and right here as well we're going to do the same thing again it's got a little tip there starting to sprout and we're gonna position it as well in this position here and here's another one the smallest one oops pardon and let's put the smallest one which is also starting to there's a little growth there about to break through so let's just put it in that position as well now so there they are right there the one two three four I have four pieces of um, turmeric now 
I'm just going to help hydrate it by putting some This is a mixture of water and seaweed. I'm not going to water it all the way through because my husband is gonna have to move this to inside the greenhouse. I chose to put this in a greenhouse because uh, although the ginger, and for that matter, I believe the turmeric would uh, behave in the same manner, although they're a heat-loving plant, they do not like the direct sunlight. They prefer where they could have a little break from the heat of the uh, sun rays, you know, when it's at its hottest point, sometimes like midday to three o'clock in the afternoon, that's the hottest time. And that would really scorch the leaves. You know, they're heat loving plant, but they do not like too much sunlight. So. Uh, last time we planted ginger, we did very well when we kept it inside the greenhouse and we are doing the same thing this time. And I'm planting turmeric in this container and I'm going to show you how I plant the ginger as well. Now let's, let me start covering. Okay, so there goes our ginger. I have everything laid out where I, I want to plant them. And just like the turmeric, um, we're going to position this in the way it's growing. And as you can see, this rhizome has several growth already. So I decided to put this right here in the middle. That way I could keep an eye on that one knowing that that should come out first okay so that's planted there oh actually sorry i don't mean to cover it right away because i want to do a special treatment for it okay i'm just going ahead to bury everything uh, this is about less about okay mm, half an inch thick to three quarter of an inch thick so we're just gonna kind of double that and bury about two inches deep that's how i do it so let me go ahead and plant this and so i got all of my ginger in place each one will get a little bit of seaweed extract help hydrate it and send it off to a good start. Now, oh, sometimes <laughs> the idea of three hands. <laughs> okay, so seaweed to help hydrate it, water it in each one. Oops, forgot my camera. <laughs> so, now all I need to do now is cover it. Okay, so as you can see, I have the seaweed there and water it in so it could start to hydrate. And I'm just going to cover it and it's good to go. Okay, oops, started right. So, this is the turmeric we got it in this corner of our greenhouse and it's watered well now we're going to my ginger which is in this corner actually it's in the middle of our greenhouse this is the pot where I planted all of the ginger, it's well watered. So, next update to see if they will all uh, sprout.